Since May, the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission has stopped more than 360,000 fraudulent unemployment claims, more than 200,000 before any money was paid out or when the claim was in the process of being recovered. Well, for those who are still waiting on their alleged fraud case to be resolved, those numbers are not a comfort. Two Works View problem solver and investigator Aaron Conrad digs deeper into one Tulsa woman's case. Jessica Turner is like so many during the coronavirus pandemic. She's a mom to four boys, navigating the ever-changing school system, and now she's the victim of unemployment fraud. It just puts a hold on life. Like, I have to wait, not know what I should do. Turner notified the Oklahoma Employment Security Commission about the fraudulent claim back in June. She sent email after email looking for answers over the summer, but didn't get anywhere. I found out it's been since April that they've been, I've had fraud on my unemployment. Someone has claimed under my name. Now her situation is more urgent. She lost her job on August 15th. She's trying to juggle a new normal with her kids and she needs those unemployment benefits. The problem, she says, the OESC tells her it could be a while before she gets them. I finally got a hold of someone after waiting five hours on the phone and they said that it could take up to months for them to figure it out. I, and if I needed to make a claim, which I now I actually do need to make a claim, um, they said that I can't do it. I have to wait for the fraud and they're going to have to investigate. And so after all this time I've been waiting, now I'm having to wait longer. It's always been significant. Shelley Zumwalt is the interim executive director for the OESC. The agency has been working to tackle fraud since the pandemic began. Through this pandemic. Since I've been here in May, we've actually been able to mitigate quite a bit of fraud, but it, by no means is it, you know, mitigated completely. Have we wiped it out? Zumwalt tells Two Works For You fraud investigations have been streamlined to only take about a week and says no one should be told their case will take months. But if someone is receiving that information that it is going to take, you know, months to get this result, that is just simply not true. And if they, if, you know, honestly, I would like to know if they are receiving that information because we need to correct our offices if they're saying that. This process has been examined almost more than any other process because I honestly don't think it's acceptable for us to tell someone this is going to take months to resolve. That's, you know, they're getting victimized twice. Zumwalt tells me she's working to make sure people like Turner get help sooner rather than later. Of course, we will let you know when Turner gets her case resolved. If you have a problem you'd like us to look into, contact the problem solvers at the email you see there on your screen. Aaron Conrad, two works for you. Well, just about every day, the problem solvers hear from folks frustrated and upset because they're not getting answers from the Oklahoma Unemployment Security Commission about suspected fraud or other problems preventing them from accessing their benefits. I was getting, I was put on hold for a long time, and then when the person would answer, it would hang up on me. And so I was in desperation, and I didn't know what else to do. And so I called the problem solvers, and they helped me. Now, we contacted OASC on Jennifer Mick's behalf, and within a day, the agency cleared the hold on her account. They said that all my weeks are, are going to be filed for, and I will be getting it. At this point in the pandemic, a lot of the cases that are coming our way, no matter what you know doorway they're coming in, they're complicated and multiple things have happened. So I believe with her case, she had something happen in the beginning, and then we had to verify something else, and sometimes you know, those cases can take longer to resolve than we would like, but I'm glad that we got this one resolved. If you have a problem with your claim, we have broken down how to get help for OESC issues on our website, kgrh.com. All you have to do is click on this story.